Hey, hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six Dream Finger Picking. In this lesson, we're learning how to play a fingerstyle arrangement of In My Life by The Beatles. Such a great song. Certainly one of my all-time favorite Beatles tracks. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please like, share, subscribe. And if you'd like the full lesson and the guitar tab, as always, that's available in the description. Just before we get into it, if you'd like to get early access to all of my lessons, 25% off tabs, you want to try out any of my finger picking courses for free, plus get extra bonus tips, tricks, and all sorts, then join my newsletter. You can sign up up here or down in the description. It takes two seconds, you're gonna get all of that, plus a whole lot more. Okay, so here we go. We're in standard tuning for this one. I've placed a capo onto the second fret, but it's completely optional. If you want to do it in the original key, don't use a capo at all. I just like the sound of it with the capo on the second fret, that's all. So the intro. It's just that. So let's break that down. I'm just holding an A chord like this. I'm barring an A. So with that held down, I'll play strings two, three, and five together. Then I'll put my pinky on the fifth fret on the top string, play that. So you got one, two, and then I'll play the bass, and then I'll play the bass again, but this time with strings two, three, and with two strings two and three. So it's two, three, and five there. So so far you've got one, two. As soon as you play that, you then want to hammer the third fret on the second string and then the fifth fret on the second string. So, like, okay, so. Okay, and then add the fourth fret onto the top string and play that with the third fret on the second string. So, like. Okay, that's then over an E chord, so I'm referring to all the chords as if there were no capo. So then, after that, you just play the bass, which is going to be the open sixth string. One, two, and three, four. So bass, 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 bass. So if you put all of that together slowly, you've, got, you've gone... And then you do it again, exactly the same. But I'll just end there, okay? So I'll let that E string just ring out on its own for the remainder of the bar. Okay, so that's your intro. That then goes into the verse, which goes like. Which is just that, and then that all goes around again, exactly the same. So now I'm playing A, E, F sharp minor, and then A with a G in the bass. And then it's basically D, D minor, back to A. Okay, so anyway, on the fourth string, you're gonna hammer two to four. Okay, second to the second fret to the fourth fret. And then I'll play the string, second and the fifth string open together. Okay, but that's over an A, so I'm kind of holding down an A sus two shape. Okay, then I'll play the third string, of course, second fret, and then the bass again, fifth string. So. And then to an E, so I'll just take my first finger like this and move that down to the first fret on the third string. So, but it's just an E, and I'll play strings two, three, and six together. And then the second fret on the second string. So slowly. Okay, and then I play like this. So that's like, an, it's an F sharp minor chord, but I'm just holding down the second fret on the sixth string. Use your thumb if you want to, first finger, whatever works for you, second finger. Um, but hold that down, play that with the open top string, and then just play the second fret on the second string. Okay? And then the third fret on the sixth string in the bass. So you've gone... Okay, 
that's the first two bars of it. And then you're going to go open hammer to two on the second string. And then just hold down the second fret on the third string and play that with the open second and fourth string. Okay, it's like it's a D6 chord really. Okay. And then you're going to pull off two to open on the second string. So like. Okay, and then add the third fret on the fourth string with that third string second fret. So just like that, okay? So Okay, then you're going to play that fourth string third fret again. And then it's down to A. I'll just hold down the second fret on the fourth string, play that with the fifth string. And then I go so what I'm doing is I'm sliding into the 6th fret on the 3rd string and the 7th fret on the 4th string. Just like that. You know, from 2 frets below. Like that. Okay, so... So from the D6... Just like that. So... That's the first four bars of the verse. And then it just goes round exactly the same. Once more. That then goes straight into the chorus. Okay, which goes like that. So let's break this section down. You're going to start by playing the second fret on the third string and then open second string. So, all these places have them. Okay, so once you've done that, it's back to this F sharp minor chord, okay? However you want to play it. But I'm holding down the second fret on the second string, third string, and sixth string. So I'll play those together, and then pull the second string, second fret, off to open. So, and then I'll play that second string open once more. So like... Then third string, second fret, and then fourth fret on the fourth string twice, and then back to the second fret on the third string. So, okay, and then from there, I'll keep this second fret on the third string held down, and I'll play the open second string and fourth string with that, and then I'll hammer the second fret on the second string, and then I'll put it off. So, like that. Okay, and then I'll just play fourth string, fourth string, fourth string, and then second fret on the second string. Okay, so two, three, four, and, and then up to a G like this. So, bass note, of course, third fret on the sixth string with the third fret on the second string. Play those two together, get the third string in there if you want to as well. And then the second fret on the second string, open second string, and then second fret on the third string. So that's just... Okay. And then I'll play the fourth fret on the fourth string. And then back to our A like this. Remember that's just the fourth string, second fret with the open fifth string. And then again I'll slide into this. Remember sixth fret on the third string and seventh fret on the fourth string. And then I'll just play it twice more. So okay, so from that G. So that's the first four bars we've gone.
Okay, mm. and then it's again the same as before, so... That's exactly the same as before. Third string, second fret, open second string to your F-sharp minor, just like the first bar of the chorus. But instead of going to that D and doing that, we go to a B7 and play. Okay, so hold down a B7, but don't play the top string. Just keep that pinky free, because you're gonna need it. So with that held down, that B7, I'll play the second string, the third string, and the fifth string. Okay, and then I'll hammer the my pinky onto the second fret of the second string, like. Okay, and then open second string. Like that. And then I'll just finger pick strings four, three, five, two, four, three. So all together, it's like. Start on that D6, you just need to hold down the 2nd fret on the 3rd string. Play with that again, open 2nd string and 4th string. But this time hammer the 1st fret on the 2nd string. Okay, and then open 2nd string. And then you're going to pick the 3rd string, 2nd fret, and then open 2nd string. And then add that 3rd fret on the 4th string and play that with your third string, which will of course still be the second fret. So you've gone. And then just play that fourth string, third fret once more. And then look down to your A, just like before, fourth string and fifth string together. And then we slide up to the sixth fret on the third string and the seventh fret on the fourth. Like we've done before. So from that D there, that's your chorus so let's go right the way back to the beginning of it and I'll play for it once more slowly for you here we go From there, that then goes straight into the bridge. Uh, so you've got that part to learn if you want to. It's so much fun to play that. And then there's also the outro where you've got... That bit too. So I'm going to be teaching that over on my website. So if you want to continue learning how to play the song, then just follow the link in the description. You're going to get the rest of the lesson right away for free. So that's it for this lesson. I really hope that you've enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Head over to sixstringfingerpicking.com. We've got loads more lessons over there, all on fingerpicking, of course, for the beginner, the intermediate, and the advanced player. So whatever level of playing you're currently at, there's bound to be some stuff, some lessons that are gonna take your fingerpicking to the next level. So check it out. That's it for this lesson. I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.